gonna be sick, you're right. Oh my god. You're gonna be a tough dog now. This has gotta come off. No, no scars with a tough dog collar. There we go. Look at what we got here, bro. Look. Look at this thing. Oh, you're gonna be tough dog now. Oh, yeah. My name is Dr. Evelyn Neighbor Fitzpatrick. I am a veterinarian. I started with Street Pets in 2010. One of my classmates, Dr. Yuki Kurahara, she said, I'm starting a nonprofit called Street Pets. How would you like to start a part in Colorado Springs? So I said, sure, just send me some information, what I need to do, and we can start it. And a week later, I got a nonprofit certificate and a 50 pound bag of dog food and said, good luck. Cat is it a small cat, cat, big cat? A mother nursing a litter of okay, five, so okay. weeks old. Adult right. cat you can put down, AJ. We're out here every Thursday at noon. We do vaccines, give out food, give out supplies, blankets, toys, things like that. They showed up, everybody lined up, and it was just one at a time shot. They'd ask if you need a little bit of food. If you did, they'd toss you a bag of cat food or dog food. Sometimes it's mixed, sometimes it's one brand. It's just you don't know what it is which is all good, it's really a beneficial thing, especially for people who really need it. I thank God for the street pets because I can't afford to go and get her shots. You know what I mean? We're going from hotel to hotel right now. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even been able to get her rabies shots. What they do is a wonderful, wonderful thing for the community. If it wasn't for them, all these people that are here in line, I don't know what they would do to help their animals. Because a lot of them, they don't have any family. They just have, their family are the friends that are here. And if it wasn't for street pets, giving them food, shots, they, they wouldn't be able to take care of their babies. And their babies are everything to them, because that's all they've got. See, I have epilepsy really bad, so, I, and I've had several seizures with her. She's actually, even as just a, a wee pup, drug my backpack to me while I was having a seizure and licked my face and stuff like that to bring me out, you know, and make sure I have my medicine as soon as I come out. She's definitely an uh, uh, attribute to my life, you know my day-to-day -day life. Yeah, we keep him happy. He protects me. He's gotten me saved a couple of times. That, uh, some no-goods we're trying to... And he was right there. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Their bond is better than probably most of my clients that are in private practice. I mean, these guys, that's their world. That's all they have left. I have plenty of people in private practice that that's a dog. You know, they're not going to spend that money because it's a dog. Or the Humane Society of That's usually where we go is Hamlet. Yeah, they so just go them. talk to them and uh, they can get you income qualification in a low cost space and that Great. way you will have better chances of getting her into different areas. Okay. Most of the dogs that are out here on the street are treated better than most humans are treated. He's healthy. He's the most Great Danes actually. He, uh, most Great Danes are sitting around on the couch all day waiting for their parents to come home from work. Gives me something to take care of. Uh, they're my they're, they're a service animal for me. Um, I got just you know I got a disability, uh, mental disability, so it's it's healthy for me to have something to take care of. And the, once I um, once I lost mine in Reno, that's come pretty much when my life just went to crap because I didn't have anything to take care of. They're better with dogs than they are with people because people have shunned them, and the only ones that love them unconditionally are who they're with. If something happened to her, I think I'd just give up. <laughs> she means a lot to me. Don't say my baby. He's my baby doggy, huh? Yeah. He looks very happy. He, I try to keep him that way. Uh, Terry that was just here, his dog's got congestive heart failure. Last week, he gave up all his food and was eating one meal a day so he could go get his dog x-rays. I went over to the internal medicine doctor who I went to school with and said, this is truly one of my homeless people. He is not eating but one meal a day so that he could afford the meds that his dog is on. What can we do for an ultrasound? He just came here today to thank me because he just got everything for free. So it works around here and it works for the right people. They're really trying out here. The society's just not giving them that chance, and that's the sad thing about here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, it's okay. <laughs>